Hi guys, my name is Yoriko. I live in Japan. I'm Japanese, and I decided to make this video to talk about what is going on in the Japanese cryptocurrency field. Recently, I was looking at cryptocurrency websites, and 60% uh, of the fiat currency that is traded against uh, Bitcoin is Japanese yen. And last year, when the trading volume of Chinese yen was somewhere around 80%, I remember I always wanted to know what Chinese people are thinking or what kind of things are on the media outlet locally in China. So uh, I hope I can share something interesting. You know, uh, I can talk about what I can see as a Bitcoiner living in Japan. But um, this is my first video. Uh, maybe you can tell that I'm quite nervous. So um, I'll keep it very short. This is what I'm going to talk about today. It's Monocoin. So maybe some of you already know, but the price of Monocoin went up like crazy. So before it was traded around somewhere between 60 yen to 80 yen, and then on October 12th it hit 100 yen. And after that it went like 200, 300, and even up to 700 something. How crazy is that? So um, it's back to somewhere around like 300 something now, but um, that's I thought some of you might be interested in hearing about it. So um, going back to basics of Monocoin, it's a Japanese cryptocurrency. It's developed by a person in Japan, and um, the project itself started in late 2013. The name Mona comes from this little kitten. It comes from ASCII art and the name of this little character is Mona. So it's name of, named after this guy. Um, Technology wise, it's fork of Litecoin. So it's not like um, Mona coin has something very new. But um, what's so cool about it is um, the community. The strongest part of the uh, Monocoin is that it has very strong user community. Uh, for example, people can use Monocoin to tip each other and that's been going on for a long time after the launch. The price of coin wasn't really high so people bought a bunch of them and then like you know sent it to each other. Now that price is like crazy some people realize like Oh my god, how much money have I spent? But oh well, it's still part of fun if you're in the cryptocurrency world. And um, there is a bulletin board website called Ask Mona. That's where people can send a tip to each other using Mona coin. If someone posts something cool, you can just send a little bit of coin. Um, other than that, there is another um, Twitter tool called Tip Mona. So if you want, if you find someone who you want to send Mona coin to, you don't have to need that person's address. You just have to um, know other people's uh, the guy's Twitter handle. So you type that in, and then you specify how much. Monocoin you want to send and add a comment if you like and just tweet and then boom you can you know that other guy can instantly get the monocoin from you so um i know that can be done with other cryptocurrencies like bitcoin or uh, nem but um the tip culture in monocoin uh, monocoin community has been quite active one time I, re I even received a coin from one of the guys on Twitter. Uh, I was writing one article and he's like, oh, keep it up. And he just sent, sent me some more coin. It was very good experience. It was encouraging and I was quite happy to receive it. I mean, it's money. <laughs> oh well. But um, other than that, there are um, other interesting community activities. Um, such as, oh, 
Monocoin magazine slash comic. So that was sold at a comic market that is held in Tokyo. The comic market is something like a um, Japanese version of Comic Con. And they put together some manga and some like stories into a mag uh, little magazine and then they just sell it. And other than that, um, there's a guy who sells coffee and rice for Monocoin. And oh, there is another uh, character called Monocoin Chan. So that's a character of a girl who represents um, Monocoin. It's not a real girl, it's just a picture. But people draw like variety of version of it. The one I see a lot is Japanese girl wearing kimono who's wearing a little mask on the hat my drawing isn't good but it looks something like this the actual one is going to look 100 times better so I'll put the link check it out, check it out if you're interested um, there's a couple manga that talks about um, monocoin Ah, oh, and this is a crazy one. Um, there is a shrine dedicated for Monocoin in Japan, in the mountain. How crazy is that? So, uh, the story is, uh, one time, the piece of land in the mountain was on the Monocoin auction, and some guys got together and actually bought the land, and then they just built a shrine on it. It even has a little uh, gate and people can go there and pray, I guess. I've seen the picture, it's quite, you know, um, it's not like something you see in Kyoto, but I, I thought it's cool that somebody actually built something like that. I told this story to um, one of my friends and he was like, what does it mean? Coin is not God. And does it mean like Monocoin is dead or something? No, it's not like that. Um, it's just uh, built for community. So um, it's for a wish that mo the coin is going to grow and develop. Uh, uh, grow and develop. Um, it, it doesn't really have to be... Um, like God, God to build a shrine, I guess. If it's like smaller community, there. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the different types of shrine, but you know the point is, there's someone who built it and it's cool. Um, other one is uh, there is going to be more coin advertisement in Akihabara. Uh, I think it's soon in announcement. It has. Yeah, I think there is an announcement. But um, it's going to be on the public display and some Monocoin fans are, are gonna spend time and money for it. So that's another thing that, that is coming up in the community. So, um, and the one thing that is um, so cool about it is it's not like um, these guys activity is support, supported or sponsored by companies. It, it, it mostly organically grown and um, you know people just create new things build new program to make things interesting so um, that's why it has strong community so yeah that's about it for today um, leave a comment please, uh, please and um, thank you so much for listening for the next one I'm thinking of um, regulation and Japanese exchanges, but if you have any other requests, please um, put that in the comments as well. Thank you!